Assalamu alaikum. Um, today we are going to do direct method. Today uh, we are going to cover the introduction to the direct method, its goal, role of the teacher and student in direct method, some of the techniques and characteristics that are used in direct method, and then we are going to uh, discuss the observations and the principles behind that uh, method, which we have uh, seen in the demo. And the uh, objective is that by the end of the lecture, you will be able to understand and use direct method practically. Now, first of all, what is the direct method? Basically, direct method was introduced in 1916 and brought great changes. In this method, mother tongue was totally avoided. No translation is allowed. The goal of the instructions become learning how to use a foreign language to communicate. Okay, so this uh, in this way, it is different from GTM that there is no translation in this method. In GTM, it is totally based on the translation in the mother tongue, whereas here in direct method, there is no translation. Now, according to the definition by Driller in 1978, the direct method receives its name from the fact that meaning is to be conveyed directly in the target language through the use of demonstration and visual aids with no recourse to sub students native language okay it means no use of a students native language but tar target language is used and it can be explained or uh, uh, in order to make the students understand the target language visual aids and demonstration is used goal uh, is to learn how to communicate in the target language, learn to think in the target language, correct pronunciation is the main focus or the goal, and emphasize on listening and speaking skill. Uh, whereas in GTM, reading, writing, and translation was focused. Whereas here, listening and speaking skill, but more emphasis is on reading and writing skill as well. Okay, here as well, uh, reading and writing skill is focused. Thinking in think in target language, no native language is used, no translation is there, and learning basic sentences introducing daily life. So the text that is selected uh, in this, but by I mean uh, when this particular method is used, the text is usually based on uh, daily life experiences and where there are simple sentences, so that students can easily learn those sentences and they can use that in their uh, daily life. Now, role of the teacher and the student. Basically, this is a teacher-centered class and a student role is less passive than in GTM. Now, as if we consider or if we compare GTM and direct method, then as compared to that, students are a little active, less passive take a little more active as compared to GTM. Whereas in GTM, there was totally silence, pin drop silence in the class. Here, the things have started, a bit, a bit changes here. Teacher and students are partners. Teacher is the only demonstrator. He, she never translate, but demonstrate the meaning through the use of relia, pictures, or pentomines. Relia means the real objects, okay? Real objects or pictures or actual objects are used in this method. Techniques include reading aloud, as you have seen in the demo, that uh, uh, teacher read aloud the text so that students can listen to it, and then um, students are asked to repeat after her so that they can, uh, I mean, correctly pronounce those words and sentences. Question and answer exercises are used, getting students to self-correct. Okay, so basically, if there is any mistake in the pronunciation, teacher repeat the word in the correct pronunciation and then students repeat the same one. Okay, so this is how correction takes place in this method. Conversation practice is also done in this case, means the text that uh, I've told you that uh, simple text that can be related to the daily life is used. So daily life conversations can also be included in this method. Can we talk through this method? Fill in the blank exercises are given, dictations can be done, map drawing, paragraph writing, all these are included in this particular method. You can see that the main focus is on the writing skills, right? Writing, question and answer, fill in the blanks, map drawing, paragraph writing, dictation, all this focus on 
writing and reading aloud focuses on the reading skills but they are trying uh, they are thinking matlab ek ek tarah se kehna chahiye ki iske inke back end pe ya ye soch hai ki shayad reading or writing skills se listening or speaking improve ho jaye lekin actually the focus is only on reading and writing skills okay then the characteristics it associate meanings and target language directly okay so meanings are conveyed through tar- target language by the demonstration meanings through the use of liya pictures and pantomimes students this ss stands for students students speak in the target language a great deal and communicate as if they were in real situation so students try to um, communicate in the target language so that they will learn that language okay the method is based on the situations so as I, you you have seen that the text which i have uh, discussed in the class the demo which i have shown was related with pakistan right but the method or this uh, this method can introduce uh, or uh, include some of the situations as well theek hai jaise abhi conversation ki baat ki to conversations or situations can be introduced so that students can use that language in their real life okay grammar is taught yes, in inductively means students are presented with examples inductively means ke uh, rules are taught uh, rules are never given sorry rules are never given pehle practice karwai examples these are preposition ke exercises humne class mein jo discuss ki thi prepositions karwai as an as an exercise grammar exercise and then the rules are taught later on or sometimes they are not taught at all ठीक है ऐसा नहीं है कि जो नॉर्मल जीटीएम में होता था कि पहले रूल्स बता दिए और उसके बाद फिर एक्सरसाइजेस करवाई जा रही हैं तो यहाँ रूल्स नहीं बताते थे यहाँ पहले एग्जांपल्स डिस्कस हो रही हैं क्वेश्चन सॉरी क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स करवा लिए प्रपोजिशन के एक्सरसाइजेस करवा ली ग्रामर एक्सरसाइजेस करवा ली उसके बाद फिर अगर लगा कि हाँ जरूरत है इनको रूल्स बताने की तो बता दिया अदरवाइज नॉट नेसेसरी students practice vocabulary by using new words in the complete sentences okay as you have seen in the demo as well ke uh, if que- in the question and answer session teacher asks the students to uh, com- answer in the complete sentence in a complete form aisa nahi hai ki sirf answer jo to the point bata diya answer theek hai so teacher practice them to use new vocabulary by using them in the complete sentences now let's uh, focus on the observations and the principles behind that observation is basically uh, based on the demo that i have given in the class and what was there behind uh, that observation or the behind that action um, is known as the principle okay this is listed here so basically as you have seen that it is started i started my demo with uh, the greetings in the target language right so basically the principle behind that is that is students learn target language through communication okay then teacher read aloud the text and students listen to her basically reading aloud helps the students in understanding the text and they also learn the correct pronunciation so here the focus is on the pronunciation as well के प्रोनाउंसिएशन ज्यादा से ज्यादा अच्छी से अच्छी हो जाए स्टूडेंट्स की इसलिए द टीचर रीड्स अलाउड ओके देन आफ्टर एक्सपोजर टीचर आस्क द स्टूडेंट्स टू रीड अलाउड ठीक है आफ्टर शी हैज आस्क द स्टूडेंट्स टू रीड एंड लिसन टू हर शी आस्क द स्टूडेंट्स टू रीड अलाउड दिस इज बिकॉज गाइडेंस फैसिलिटेट लर्निंग ठीक है गाइडेंस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन गाइडेंस प्रॉपर गाइडेंस इज गिवन टू द स्टूडेंट्स इट विल फैसिलिटेट देयर लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस then the next observation is that teacher explain the text through map so visual aids and relia make the learning process easier theek hai i have used a visual aid right sometimes relias are also used means teacher can bring real objects in the class or for example the text is related with the car so teacher can bring a toy car if it is related with the world then the teacher can bring a globe okay so some real object a representative one can be brought in the class and uh, it can be explained okay they say you you must have seen in your uh, ninth and metric uh, classes especially in case of biology jo frog ka dissection hua tha 
ठीक है वो जो हुआ था कि वो एक्चुअली आपको उसको एक्सप्लेन जो किया था टीचर ने उसको कट करके उसका पूरा डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम को पॉइंट आउट करके एक्सप्लेन किया था ओके सो दैट वॉज द डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन थ्रू रिलाया द रियल ऑब्जेक्ट वॉज दिया ओके सो सेम थिंग कैन बी डन इन दिस केस इन द डायरेक्ट मेथड फॉर एक्सप्लेनिंग एनी थिंग एनी टेक्स्ट then the students volunteer themselves to read aloud and point out various cities or places on the maps comprehension is checked pronunciation is corrected and the students are given confidence to speak theek hai wo jo ek strict uh, scenario tha strict environment tha gtm ka that is a bit relaxed here okay and the students are given confidence to speak in the class okay the students were asked oral questions speaking skill is more focused than writing skill vocabulary is acquired more naturally if students use it in full sentences rather than memorizing word list okay they are in case of gtm only vocabulary items were introduced word meaning ho rahe the karwa rahe the theek hai yahan word meaning focus nahi ho rahe but word is tarah se ho raha hai ki sentences mein use ho raha hai so speaking is also improved and no doubt writing is also focused lekin ये कह सकते हैं कि शायद स्पीकिंग क्योंकि रीडिंग अलाउड हो रहा है इस तरह से कह सकते हैं कि स्पीकिंग स्किल इज फोकस्ड ठीक है अदरवाइज बेसिकली राइटिंग स्किल इज फोकस्ड ओके सो वोकेबलरी इट मीन्स वोकेबलरी इज लेस फोकस बिकॉज इट फोकस इज ऑन द कंप्लीट सेंटेंसेस then prepositions are explained and practiced because grammar cannot be totally ignored so grammar grammar is also involved in this method after closing the text the students recall the text because they have learned the text by heart by demonstration bhi ho gayi unki listening bhi ho gayi so by that time they have learned the text okay so sometimes the student a teacher asks the students to close uh, their books or uh, their copies and then ask them to read aloud the text okay so immediate uh, reinforcement enhance learning okay immediate reinform reinforcement means when they will repeat that text in the class without looking at the text then they can learn that text easily this is the main principle of this particular method direct method homework is usually given in the written form but can be given as a verb i mean for learning as well Homework reinforces learning and writing skills cannot be ignored. अगर writing class में नहीं हो रही है तो homework में writing हो जाएगी अगर class में writing हो रही है तो homework में oral दे सकते हैं Means both the things are focused. ठीक है Oral and written skills. Leave taking in target language. Same as number वन Number वन is that students learn target language through communication. So because the focus here in this method is communication, that's why le leave taking is also in target language so that students will learn how to take the leave when they are having any conversation. Non-literary texts are used. Non-literary text means literature is related. Nahin. Culture and language learning are two different areas. In a language classroom, literary text should not be used. Okay. So according to this method, the principle of this method is that uh, normal daily life uh, or cultural based text should be used in this method in order to uh, teach the students how to use the language or something related with their. daily life agar literary text honge to obviously they won't be able to learn anything with their related with their real life or daily life so that's why non literary texts were used in this case as you have seen that uh, the text that i have used for my uh, demo was related with pakistan and its cities so pakistan aapka kahin na kahin you are living here i mean you are living here aur kahin na kahin aapka uh, discussion ya kuch na kuch aapke daily life mein aap usko discuss karte hain okay so it's very important to have detail related with it that's why non literary texts are used that should be based on culture and uh, daily life experiences okay so that's all for this lecture i hope it is clear